Guys, I'm back uh, in action in a bathroom. Let's see what's going on. Alright, so I've had some complaints. This is a Glacier Bay system. When we bought the house, Glacier Bay was like the cheapest possible thing uh, to be put in here. The problem with Glacier Bay is that it's cheap. They use uh, parts made mostly from overseas and other brands do too, but they're just really cheaply made. In fact, a whole system like this could run you about $30 when it should cost you uh, closer to 100 for a nice one. And we'll talk about good plumbing fixtures and stuff, but uh, there was two things that came up. I'm like, you know what? We should jump into a video and let's try to fix this. First thing is this clogs, I guarantee uh, it's a little bit of hair stuck underneath there, some gels, that sort of thing, clodulate the hair. Um, no big deal. We can fix that. Problem is we're on a septic, so the last thing we want to do is throw some Drano in there uh, and snake it out. We don't want to do that. A snake is okay. The Drano is not good for the septic, but there is a better way, and I'll show you that here in a minute. Uh, and then we'll take a look at this fixture and figure out why it's only giving us hot water. No cold water. Hot. Let's figure it out. Now, one trick I learned um, with dealing with septics, we don't want to deal with too many harsh chemicals. So what we're going to do is we're going to put boiling water down that, uh, that drain and it becomes a little bit of an issue. We don't really want to throw in too much boiling water to melt certain things. Like for example, this bath mat needs to be at least pulled up and removed. Um, we want to make sure we have a nice, easy, clean, simple um, way of work at boiling water. I don't know. I don't think it will melt that but it just might so you want to be on on safe and sorry water slowly dump it down the active drain. Now you can see my glasses are getting clogged. That's okay. I can't really see what's going on You can hear yeah, I don't know if you can hear it very well, but you can hear that groggle um that's a good thing. And the water disappeared pretty quickly. Um, there might still be a little water left. Yeah, there still is a little bit. So we're gonna let that kind of work. And after we're done with the shower, I'll, I'll undo this and pull out any remaining hairs that might be there still kind of gumming things up. But that's also really good for your septic. It's not gonna do anything bad. Uh, boiling water is the absolute best trick. Okay, let me wait for this to kind of die down, cool off, and then uh, we'll get to work on this guy. The handle should remove just like that. Be very careful not to lose this little screw. Uh, the screw is insanely important and if you lose it, uh, you're going to have a little bit of a bad time. So, all right. So once we're through here, I may need to go and grab a wrench um, to pull off some of this stuff. Um, we'll see how it goes. So this right here is your valve system. Um, you have your uh, mixing valve right here. It's covered by a little bit of a plate that we are going to twist off and remove. And that exposes the valve. We want to make sure the water is turned off. Now the one credit I give Glacier Bay, the absolute one credit, is that they include a valve that has shutoffs right here. So I do not need to go and shut off the water main. All right, this is loose so it can come off. Now you have exposed your mixing valve. This valve simply just comes out like that. Okay, now inside that valve is what opens and closes and you can see where the little dots are. Blue is obviously cold, red is obviously hot. So let's test and see at least if we have some water flowing to the cold. I know the hot works, but I want to make sure there's at least water flowing to the cold. So I undo this a little bit, it might get a little splash and it looks like we got water flowing to the cold side, so that's good, that's good. Now let's check the hot side. 
and we already know there's there's hot water coming out we already know there is hot water we already know that cold water should technically be um, included now sometimes by factory these little things are not set right this is your temperature adjustment you basically undo this screw pull this out and adjust on my new one I need to adjust it to make sure it's not scolding hot but I know that's not the problem because it's set right in the middle which is exactly where it should be all right let's get this new one in here here's our new valve like we had one of these uh, exactly placed now we don't want to put it like this remember these little teeth fit in right in the bottom right here now we want to just push this in it is important that this gets pushed in as much as possible you want to set this in and look at that it's already set I don't need to do this this is another long screw that comes out and then we can move this collar and adjust it we don't need to do that right now all right so let's put the back collar on and let's check uh, for any leaks okay now one thing I forgot to mention or am I going to say right now is you want to make sure you have some plumbers faucet grease on hand this prevents any rust from occurring of any of these cheaper parts so i'm gonna put a little bit of dab on there now we only want to do this hand tight we don't want to tighten with anything but our own hand now we can kind of do our first test right here to see if everything is going good um, let's turn back on the water if I can find my handy screwdriver I don't know where oh there it is I don't know where I set it let's take this let's turn this on so now we got a little water going Okay, see how we're getting a little bit of a leak there? So it's not set in quite right. So let's turn this off, let's reset it. Not a big deal. And it might take a couple times to get that set. Do not feel frustrated um, by not getting this set. When it comes to these kind of uh, fixtures, they're made very cheaply and they're not super reliable so don't get too upset it's going to take a little bit of fiddling around i might just cut this and see where we end up okay got this tightened up got the cold water turned on um and we're going to try it out and we get water flow now it's not going to be a lot of pressure because it's, of course, and that's pretty cold water. And of course it's, um, I can get a whole lot of water flow is a glacier bay. It does not have the most flow of water. Okay, real quick before we put everything back, just like we did, let me grab some of the parts. Make sure each of these threads, including these guys, are greased properly. We're going to put this back. That's draining. Don't have to do anything new. And that's it for this short video. All right, quick little plumbing. Remember, this valve is the problem with these types. This Glacier Bay from Home Depot, this type of faucet is this valve that will go bad every time. So, thank you for watching, guys. Stay tuned to the next video.